Yeah. No, otherwise you have to wait for it to go to room temperature. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, this is not a spring chicken. A lot of times when you go to parties, you get all these little mini hors d'oeuvres and these little cakes. Well, right now we're going to make some brownie minis that are actually pretty quick to do. Typically you do them in an oven, but we're going to do them in the microwave just to show you exactly how easy it is to do. As you notice, I have Pam because it makes it so much easier. We're going to go ahead and spray this. I probably should do this right after I prepare the batter, but no, it doesn't take that long anyway. Different. Okay, so we've got some pre-measured batter already, as you can see. Makes it really easy. We're just going to go ahead and dump this in here. And as people should know, that we never go out and buy anything to cook with. This was something that was picked up and not been used as a thing. No, we meant to eat it before we didn't. So we need, what, how much water? A tablespoon? One and a half tablespoons of water, period. I don't have a half tablespoon. So then you only use half of it. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I, I, I know. Well, you know, I'm so used to it's like one tablespoon, one teaspoon. And I'm like, we, no. we've, been, we've been sitting here going for hours. I know, she's getting ready to, she's getting ready to have a food meltdown, food, so. Food, food. You know, which is, we're going to do something, I'm going to try something we discovered yesterday, which is really should be good. Like I said, 30 to 40 strokes of your, um, spoon. This is really a fast thing, folks. It's, it's not meant to be done in a, in a microwave, but then again, these people don't know how to use a microwave, so. It's just something I that think sometimes it's easier to control over a stove when you're giving directions for masses of people. Yeah. Right? Because you want it to consistently come out a certain way. Yeah, but you a lot of people don't have stove. Don't put that in there. What? You take don't use that yet. Oh. No, now that's why I, I I have the instructions over here, which I left over there. She basically got me doing it. No, we put uh, we do fill up. I think. Um, uh, one teaspoon of batter. Just take about half of your thing, uh, half of, the, of each one of those tablespoons. Half of uh, 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 maybe maybe I should maybe okay. The problem is she got god awful big. I have teaspoons. big spoons. <laughs> so fine. take the take the teaspoon. I have a small. Take the spoon. teaspoon out, out of the, out of the other things and use it. So <laughs> just take your. You have a teaspoon measuring thing. So yeah. Well, because I have oversized spoons. Yeah, it's one teaspoon into the into each cavity on the tray. So we're also doing something else, which it says but it says to throw away the deals after you get done. But uh, you know, so okay. Okay. one teaspoon. One teaspoon into each, because you need the rest of the stuff. To, you know, since we got two, it makes it easier. You can sit there. It also means that two people get to slurp on something in a little while. <laughs> I know. Yeah. They're going to be looking forward to that. Yeah, that um, you know, it, 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 you know, the recipe may or basically what happens. It won't make any difference because whatever you have left is going to go on the tops. Oh, is that what it is? Well, yeah. Okay. Because when you get this done, I know she just keeps making a mess on the sides. Of course. I know she's a girl thing, so. And girls do lots of weird things. Because she never, that's why, okay. We have her, all the recipes always stay with me instead of her, which is where they should be with her. <laughs> why? They should? Because I'm going to change them anyway over here. I know. So, what do people think of, our, of her cooking? <coughs> Thanks! <coughs> They're bringing up the spinning monkey. <laughs> that's a good thing. That, that was all on his own. I do time. love that. He did that all on his own. That's going to be in the buying guide. I know. It's okay. a toy. Okay, now uh, I think we should like smooth out, the, take your spoon or something and smooth those little bottoms out a little bit. Oh, we are? We're supposed to be smoothing them well, out? Well, make it because you got to put the stuff in the middle of it. Oh, I guess so. Okay, we're going to just do... Yeah, that's all. Because I can... Even my camera can see that they're a little bit lumpy. <laughs> Could have added more water to them, but no, that's all you do. This is a, a ready mix, so okay. 
you know, now we just go, uh, we, we cut a, a slit in the side of the package, which is raspberry, I think. Mm, well, we're making filled, we're making filled, th filled oh. things for uh, Thanksgiving. That's right. Yeah. You could, if you want, if you're making yeah. it from scratch or some other way. I know. Because sometimes you have brownies and you don't have the... You know, she cut the entire... Oh, end. that's right. It said he cut did say the, that, didn't he? Yeah. So just uh, okay. just cut the end a slide, end off. It didn't go And now squirt, end. squirt a little bit into each one of the centers. Okay, now you go to the next one. You can like use. Okay, we're gonna use the. I, I, I know. And then that's how you do it. Each one of them will have a uh, squirt a little bit into each one. Okay, look at that one worked. Okay. Now the next one. So it depends upon how big a squirt she makes. <laughs> you know, I have no control over her because she, <laughs> she, I, I have my ideas of doing things, and she has her ideas, and they have never been the same. Well, I was going to use this entire package. Well, yeah, you you make some that gets into everything first, and then go back and fill more, because there's not a lot left to spare. But okay. like I said. Okay, now. Then you fit it, you just squirt more into the rest of them, and then you cover the tops up. So, really simple recipe, folks. You know, like, uh, like, like Guy Fieri said, you should take the recipe and make, don't pay any attention to what the recipe is, change it, make well, it. Well, you have to know a little bit, some of it. Some of it, no, but uh, I used to watch Graham Kerr show when it was being done, and Graham Kerr would simply think out, he changed the recipe in the middle of the recipe. I don't like that. And then he basically take it and throw it in a trash can and start over again. Well, sometimes you're changing it for the occasion. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it, it, it just, like I said, everything depends upon the touch of the individual that's doing it. And she basically just walked into a door, hit herself in the elbow. So, along with walking into other things. So, she, as she does say, for someone who wears a swimsuit all the time, she has more nicks and damages. She walks in. You want to tell? <laughs> I mean, more damages to that figure. And sometimes bruises that are big enough to cut a hand to cover. So now you just uh, got to sit there and take a little bit and cover the tops of everything with it. That's not a lot left over. So. Yeah, you just go to each one of them and. Yep. <laughs> we got enough left. We have more. Because the ones that were smaller, I'm making them bigger. Yeah. But you know what? And then the ones that are big, I don't put as much stuff on. I, I didn't need to make certain everything is covered because this isn't really kind of work unless they all are covered. Oh, they're all supposed to be covered? That's the whole point of this, which is Oh, it I, is? Which I was trying to get you to, you know, like I said, my her idea of, of one thing is one thing and mine is another. My mother would be going crazy if she was cooking in front of her. She'd say, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Because my mother actually was... My mother did the gourmet cooking in a restaurant. She was a pastry chef. See, and I'm showing you that it's possible for anybody to do. Almost. Yeah. Uh, okay. We. Okay. The second thing is that none of these recipes, most of the recipes that we do, are not designed for microwaves. Yeah. But you can do them. Mm -hmm. Because we like you to be able to do. Because. More more cooking gets done in a microwave in most people's homes than probably their yeah. stove or their oven. But we do know that a lot of new structures do not have stoves in the structures. Oh, they don't? No, they have refrigerators and built in microwaves. Because they figure you can't burn a, you can't burn an apartment up with a microwave. Oh. But they've never heard of people putting things with metal in them in a microwave, you know. Well, you don't don't do put it. a tea bag in the microwave. You have these cute little bags like this. Now, okay. put it in the oven for. Um, we're going to try uh, one uh, one okay. minute on high. Okay. And then after that, it backs off of it. So, 
because it is much faster to cook in a microwave than it is to cook in a stove. But a microwave only cooks from the, which is funny, the microwave cooks from the center down and not the center up. Yes, you're going to see this come out really quickly. Yeah, so one minute on high, and then after that it's going to be like 30 second shots. Because it will turn real quickly when it turns on you. Mm -hmm. Well, because they're not, as you can see, these are minis. They aren't that big. No, they're not that the, big. The, the, and, uh, the bigger ones will turn quickly. You can, uh, you can basically do biscuits in a microwave, too, if you sit there and put the biscuits all together. I mean, think of it like bread. You know, if you ever put bread in the microwave, yeah. you know how delicate yeah. that is. And you're, it, it, if you don't destroy, if you don't make the th burn them, you can basically recover them if it gets too hot by putting uh, one of the towels on the roll of towels behind us with a little damp water on it and put it over the top, and it will remoisturize the thing. So, but it's basically now, basically, as soon as she cleans all the stuff off her hands. What? Did I need to well, do that? I, I know. She's been slurping stuff, you know. Oh, now, look at that. Yeah, and uh, you just like take touch it with your finger to see how they bounce at the moment. Oh, they feel like they're about done. And put it in for 30 seconds more. Okay. Then we'll... Because um, they're not overly mushy. They're just, you know, just no, it's just they've got to be a little bit firm is all they got to be, and they're done. They are a little bit firm. Yeah, no, but uh, we still need... There's an inside that's got to cook on them, too, though. So we're talking a minute and 32 minutes to do the a half dozen. That's not a lot of time because really the prep time would be a lot faster. But she's 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 recreating everything on her own. And if you put in two, because these trays are little. Yeah. You could, I mean, you could have just the time because if you want to put in three or four trays. Yeah, but with her, I knew I'm going to do exactly what she did. I've gotten smart in my What's old that? age. Uh, hey, I think they're done. What do you it's think? Like done. Okay, just mm -hmm. all you do is touch them again and. Yeah. Okay, now you just go I, turn turn in the camera and then we'll see what they look like. Oh, I guess you could, would like to see what they look like. Okay, look at that. Actually, we can't really see it that well, but we can see it. It's it's because it's dark. Okay, now let's go do the next one. Let that cool. Oh, and we're doing another one? Two of them. You got oh. two packages. Why didn't we do them at the same time? Because you would have put all the stuff in oh, one package. Oh, I don't true. trust you anymore. You saw oh, what is you that what did. it is? I know. Um, I, 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 I no longer trust her because if I put that, make it a double deal, she'll put the whole double deal in one thing. So? I know, but the idea is to make one. Oh. He's trying. Because I can you, spread you could, them out as long as I know that was okay, good. Uh, but as you know, so you didn't have to put that much in there. No, but um, I think, uh, one and a half tablespoons again of water, and uh, so and just the whole thing again. So we're going to do it twice. It's just okay. You can do it both. Okay, people at home, you can do this by yourself with one batch, and then mix them all together. But, and no. why are we doing it like this? Because we're waiting for that to cool so we can take it out. Yeah, and because also not a great chick will mix them all in one thing. It's not, it's not that, you know, uh... <laughs> what? I know. Oh yeah, we're supposed to be a table for the Yeah, which is one of those, and then a half of one, yeah. and then 30 to 40 strokes again. And then we'll have to, you know, when you get done, we'll have to spray the thing with your Pam. Oh, yeah, that's one of the things that you do. Yeah. The other one was sitting there the whole time. And the difference between doing them this way and in the oven is, first of all, it's shorter time. And you don't lose your uh, plastic cooking cooking things. In an oven, they'll basically be ruined, but in a microwave, they're usable again for a few more times. Because they are washable. I don't I don't think you put them in a Well, actually, you probably could put a dishwasher. It's just like a lot of things. And why is it that you're doing cooking the way you are? Well, because nothing works anymore. This kitchen is like 20 years old. And is in need of a kitchen remodel. Yep. Total remodel. You know, the, what happens is that one appliance kicks up. Oh, hey, the way it is, it's a modern kitchen with old uh, power, and it, it doesn't work. So, 
which is the thing that we're going to, we're getting a new place for the next couple of weeks where you get to see some stuff done. Whole brand new kitchen, whole brand new location. Hopefully, because <laughs> it got off a lot of money. You know, not for the place, it's just to stock it because we don't have anything to move over to it. So. It's always tight, it costs a lot to set up a new location. I know. It must be somebody's phone on Buzz. It's mine. I don't know, because they're grumping. It must not be important because they'd be making a lot more noise. But just do this. Of course, she's doing it. I knew that she'd do this. It was easier that way. I know it's easier that way, but what you but did... But look, did, I got all six of them. I know, but is there going to be enough to do it with the rest of it? Yes. Well, this pray. Because I was, I was distracted by the phone. And did, <laughs> I, don't know, did, did, I was distracted to the point that you put the Pam on it before you put the stuff yep. in. Because I was listening for where was that phone coming from? So, you know, here we go. See? Oh no. I know, they get that monkey, they go crazy. I know. Oh. It is kind of funny. All I gotta do is the drop. That's our, that's our new mascot. Until he no longer works. We don't know where we can get another one of those. Though. We have to go find that. That one's funny. Well, I have to get a box of them. Because they go flying, they can go, th this thing can shoot 50 foot across the area. We did shoot it <laughs> once, and it went, really went more crazy. So, so in general, okay, uh, we're, we're, no, so it's, it's a really good thing. I mean, um, this works, it's a fairly decent, easy deal to do. Just because it doesn't say that you can't, that you can like, you can't microwave it, it doesn't mean you can't microwave it. Because yeah, but we're showing them how to microwave things they don't know how to do. Yeah, and it's like I said, took a minute and a half, folks. Try doing that in an oven in a minute and a half. I think it's. Uh, See, that's an impossibility. 14 to 17 minutes and cool for 10 minutes. Remove brownies by pressing the bottom of each cup, and hopefully we can basically do it without pushing the bottom and destroying the cup. We shall see. If not, then we made a valiant effort. And all of the young men were violent. Not violent. Actually worked on that movie too. Which one? All the young men were were violent. For violent. V I L A N T. Violent. Not violent, but violent. Oh. Violent. You know, like they were. They uh, they went down to the sea in their ships. All men were violent. You see. Is there anything I didn't do when I was younger? No. You did a lot when you were anything younger. Anything that I would like to do now? Everything I did when I was younger? Because I'd be young again. All over again. Yeah. Would you go back? If you had a chance to be go back and, cha and change anything, would you change it? I don't think I'd get hurt this time. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I would do that. I don't think I'd do all the stupid things I did before. A machine gun is a machine gun, no matter who's behind it. Oh, I know. I mean, you, know, you can get hurt, you know. You know I, if you just put it this way, if a little tiny kid wearing pajamas pops up with a gun and he's aiming it at you, shooting. Yep. That was a big mistake on my part. Big mistake. As most people have noticed all the holes in the body. But that was another lifetime. That was somebody else. That wasn't really me. See, this one turned out better because I actually put... Was, um, I beat it a little, a little bit more, so it's a little bit more fluid. Yeah, so she, she changed the recipe again because she, didn't, she wanted to have more to play with. But I don't let her have more to play with. <laughs> Let's try it. Well, it was just a little bit more water. It was still a teaspoon and a half, a little bit more. The other's a teaspoon, uh, tablespoon and a half, just barely. Yeah. Mm. This one had a few you can't thin them, them but you don't want to get too much more because well, actually no because this one's just more fluid and because I did it this way it and beat it more yeah 
And, and the beating has a desperate, desperate thing to it. Also, if you make it a little bit too fluid, you could also, if you have cocoa, you can add a little cocoa to it, and it will basically thicken it up a bit. Yeah. Or you could add, uh, like, some uh, arrowroot. Yeah, see, this even, it even looks a little more fuller in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to go ahead and put it back in here. For one minute on high. One minute on high. Yeah. Oh, and since I left it on the spoon... Yeah. I know, yeah, now she's, she's cleaning her spoons off softwares. Isn't that the best part about baking? Was you, um, you to clean off the spoons. Oh, I know. Uh, my family, because I was the oldest, I was always first in the pecking order for the stuff. So, you know, then everybody, everybody wanted the spoons. They, most of the people didn't want the, the bowls because the bowls was what was left. Mm -hmm. And so, my mother would basically scrape the bowls until there was very little in them. Oh, so really? It was the spoons that were the important part. And as the oldest, you know, you know, you know, W, share with your sisters. Okay, Mom. Mm -hmm. I give them the clean spoon. I was sharing with them. And they'd go, Mommy. And then they'd get the bowls. Mommy would say, well, go, to, go split that. Twins would really get screwed in life, folks. Look, you can even see. Look at him. Okay, versus this him. one. I know, but the first one was experiment. See, no. just a little bit more. Thirty seconds more. <laughs> That's all. One and a half minutes, uh, because they're very small. One and a half minutes on, because what you've done is you um, microwaves love things that are put in containers. They do. Uh, you know, if you, because they like to, it, it cooks more evenly. The, sm the, the smaller the thing it is, the more evenly it cooks, which is why you can cook eggs. And it can, if you put it in a, in a custard dish, you can cook an egg nicely. I wonder if you pop those out, how they're going to look. I have no I idea. guess we have to cook, wait for those just a little bit longer. Let's see what yeah. happens. Yeah. Hopefully we can turn them over. Because the other ones will get out and after we dry cook. These have been out longer. Yeah. So we're going to pop these? Yeah. Let's, let's see. see if they pop. Oh, look at that. Oh, these are little fudgies, too, folks. Oh, perfect! And we didn't lose the thing, did we? No. Look at that. I mean, they're not, okay, it's not meant to be perfect. It is meant to be fudge look. bits. It is fudge bits for um, for the holiday. Look at that. I mean, See, we've got... That one's a little overflowing, but look. Yeah. But there it is, folks. Look, and these are just little... Oh, and they smell good, too. So it's just little fudge bits. It's not meant to be anything more than that. Well, so. and you can make them at home yourself instead of buying them all pre-packaged. Oh, yeah. You can basically, uh, some fudge, some sugar, and a bit of flour, mm. and basically some, um, uh, mm. go get some jelly or jam out of your out of your refrigerator if you have it. And that's all it takes. This was just a package because this package cost us a buck, and we... Mm. And we had planned to eat the stuff when we were on a trip. If, if you were doing them by scratch and you wanted to decorate them, yeah. what I do is I take this, still add the the filling inside, yeah, and then add some of the chocolate sprinkles. You know, shaved chocolate sprinkles on top. Mm. Yeah. So it just you can do anything you want to. Uh, you can put icing on the top of them, sprinkles mm -hmm. on the top of them. You can make it more decadent. Uh, but um, mm. it worked. We were. I thought they would good. work really well. You know, she's a she's a gourmet eater too, folks. These so, are really good. There you mm. go. That's our uh, brownie bites. Mm. Brownie bites, and that's what they are. Brownie bites. Bon appetit. Mm -hmm.